Malacanang wants the public to send feedback on the draft federal constitution before the document is submitted to Congress. Presidential spokesperson Harry Roque says Malacanang considers the output of the Consultative Committee or CONCOM to be a very good draft but they also want to consider comments of all stakeholders. We have received guidance from the Office of the Executive Secretary that in line with our ongoing discourse on federalism, the government is preparing to receive feedback on the draft submitted by the Consultative Committee to review the 1987 Constitution. The palace is also open to improving the draft federal charter. Roque admits concerns of cabinet members prompted President Rodrigo Duterte to create a formal channel for public feedback. Well, they can send their feedbacks um, either through the Office of the Spokesperson or through the uh, Presidential um, Communication Office or just to um, the Office of the President. Huh? It can be in writing, it can be by email, or they can even come personally. Despite these new developments, Roque says Duterte remains fully satisfied with the CONCOM document and that he is still, quote, fully committed to federalism. Malacanang says President Rodrigo Duterte is dismayed that alleged Maguindanao massacre mastermind Zaldi Ampatuan was allowed to leave jail. Presidential spokesperson Harry Roque says the panel of prosecutors and the president opposed the motion and were dismayed it was granted. Roque also assures families of the massacre victims that the furlough granted to Ampatuan will have no bearing on his case. Ampatuan was allowed to attend the wedding of his daughter Cristina on Tuesday, August 21 at Sofitel Philippine Plaza in Pasay City. He is charged with 58 counts of murder for the 2009 Maguindanao Massacre. The massacre is considered the single deadliest attack on journalists in history and the bloodiest case of election-related violence. The lawyers of Cebu-based businessman Peter Lim claim they are just as, quote, clueless as cops on where their client is. Lim's lawyers say he has not contacted them since the news broke out that drug charges were filed against him in court. The businessman is charged with two counts of conspiracy to commit illegal drug trading. It's been nine days since a Makati City Court issued an arrest warrant against Lim. On August 20, cops went to the two known addresses of Lim and Cebu, but he was nowhere to be found. Philippine National Police Chief Director General Oscar Albayalde says, Lim has the resources and connections to evade authorities. The businessman was first investigated over his alleged drug links as early as 2002. Facebook says it suspended more than 400 applications following a probe to determine whether people's personal information were being improperly shared. Vice President of Product Partnerships, Ime Arshibong, says apps were suspended due to concerns around the developers who built them or how the information people chose to share with the app may have been used. He says apps put on hold at the social network were being scrutinized more closely. The app unit launched in March by Facebook stemmed from the Cambridge Analytica data privacy scandal. Facebook admits the data of up to 87 million users may have been hijacked by Cambridge Analytica. Britain's data regulator said last month it will fine Facebook half a million pounds for failing to protect user data. Facebook chief Mark Zuckerberg apologized to the European Parliament in May and said the social media giant is taking steps to prevent such a breach from happening again. Parties on the world-famous shores of Barakay will be prohibited once it reopens on October 26. According to Environment Secretary Roy Simatu, people can still party within establishments but not on the beach. Simato also says a dry run of the reopening will be held from October 15 to 25. Local tourists from Aklan will be prioritized for the soft opening. The dry run will allow the task force to assess what else needs to be done before Boracay is opened to all domestic and foreign tourists. Simato adds that they are looking into safer alternatives for fire dancers. Tourism Secretary Bernadette Romolo Puyat previously said visitors should expect a more peaceful Boracay. Puyat says it won't be like a party place anymore. We want it to be more as it is. We want it to be more peaceful. We want to promote sustainable tourism. Mm -hmm.